The S-Type is about broadening our horizons. It represents everything that Jaguar is really about. The gracefulness, the power, the pleasure of driving. What's so special about this car, I feel, is the sense it provides of being so naturally inspired. I was an absolute car nut from being able to uh, walk <laughs> before I could talk almost. I've been a fanatic of Jaguars for, um, I'd say, 15 years. 30 years. 13 years. 22 years. 30 years. My father worked here for around about 28 years. My sister also worked at Jaguar cars. Her husband also worked at Jaguar. Cousins, close relatives, uncles, they work at Jaguar. It's about... Um muscle and uh, subtlety, a sense of uh, animal-esque forms, the flowing forms, or no hard edges, no abrupt shifts of plane and angles. The car is, is truly conceived three-dimensionally, and that's the way we actually work at Whitley. We sculpt the car, we do not construct the car. I think Jaguar in us is about the ability to see a new Jaguar and recognize it instantly. with a wooden inlay uh, that's done by hand. Uh, the, the edge is cut by hand, the wood is inlaid by hand and pushed in by hand. Uh, it's then varnished by hand. If you went into the wood shop, they would tell you that, in fact, what we do is we actually sell cars as a means of displaying their wood. We still have to have those very important Jaguar virtues of the style, the craftsmanship, the interior appointments, the wooden leather. There is no comparison between the car I drive now and the car I drove back in 1984 when I, when I arrived. The interaction you have with the car is just so much more refined now and much more consistent. We've worked very uh, closely with Ford to make sure we get out of the big company the things that big companies can bring without losing the things that you get in a smaller group. They brought us a lot of good processes in, in manufacturing, uh, which we've been able to take and mold in, in, in a Jaguar kind of way. We've got a totally new electric system, but we've also been able to put in a self-diagnostics uh, system that ensures that we can check even for intermittent faults. Quality should not be some retroactive checking event. It has to be baked in to the style right at the start of the process. And if you don't, you're in trouble downstream. It's actually quite awesome when you start with a clean sheet of paper and you think, OK, what do we want? What do our customers want? And once we've decided, we could then start to put the assembly schemes together and then get into every little detail. There is no written formula. Jaguar, to me, has one of the most powerful heritages in terms of design of any car company in the world. It's a very powerful ethos, and I think we should honor it and, and preserve it at the same time, we should refresh it, re-express it in the context of today. One word to describe the car. Magic. Beautiful. Pure character. Fabulous. Truly Jaguar. What I try to do is drive the car in as many different surfaces and the environments as, as the customer will encounter. We've been tuning the car intensively for about 12 months now. There's a lot of different systems to tune. There's the tyres, the shock absorbers, springs, steering system. And uh, all these systems interact and uh, it, it's quite a complex set of variables to tune. It's, it's a more sporting drive. I think it'll appeal to younger people. The car's got to be fun to drive, but it's also got to be safe. And uh, what it needs, I think, to do is flatter the driver. So uh, be a satisfying drive for an experienced driver. It'll also look after, you know, in, in a difficult situation, an, in, an inexperienced driver. 
you'll know as soon as you see the S-type in your rear mirror, it's a, it's a, that is that Jaguar. I don't, I don't know whether I was actually the first lady to actually drive one, but um, I'm, I'm, sure, <laughs> I'm sure I must have been. The way that we've created and sculptured the sheet metal, it's, uh, it's quite a challenge. I mean, you look at some of the features of the car and you might say, you know, that's infeasible. You can't possibly do that in sheet metal, but we've done it. It's not been easy. We've tried very hard and done some fairly peculiar things, but we've got there. We've created something that, that's got a personality and not just a bland Euro box. We've started from the ground up, completely uh, refurbished site uh, at Castle Bromwich, all new facilities. I think what makes it a Jaguar is the fact that everybody had the same desire. It becomes what Jaguar is because everybody wanted to get the same thing. I mean, I've worked in cars for 23 years now, and you know if the car's going to be successful because people either walk past it or they stop and they look. And people walk around like young kids. I'm predominantly involved in all the sort of electrical features in the car, all the new technology and, and, and the like. I've driven several prototypes, very encouraging. It seems to be going from strength to strength as the build moves on. Once you see all the hard work that you've done actually come out and the car is in production, out in the marketplace and people are actually looking at it and purchasing it, you think, yes, you've actually done a good job. Everybody that's been involved in the programme kind of gives themselves a little bit in the way that you actually uh, are involved in the design process and particularly from a styling perspective. And that involves all the exterior styling, the interior styling aspects, uh, everything that you can see and you can touch on the vehicle from the visual point of view. I think it's an involving car. It's a car that you can't ignore. You need to sort of stand back and say, well, that's an individual car. You know, it's a statement. It's just not going to pass you by. It's the sort of car, I think, that um, you'll have people coming up to you and saying, oh, hey, this is a new S-Type. It's all going to go a long way to people saying, I've just got to have one. Now, you're beginning to see Jaguar of the future.